Hey, I'm going to show you how to build an electronic xylophone, or basically any MIDI instrument. The first thing you're going to need is an Arduino microcontroller. You're going to need the Arduino code, which you can find below, and a serial to MIDI converter, which to, uh, is also in a link down below. You're going to need GarageBand or Max MSP or Ableton Live, some sort of program that can read MIDI data a breadboard or some way to solder electrical components together. A lot of wire. You're going to need one mega ohm resistor for each key, and we're making eight keys. Uh, soldering iron is always good. Digital multimeter comes in handy. You're going to need material for keys. I made them out of acrylic. You need a box. Get creative. This is recycled from an old computer. Piezo discs, eight of them, one for each key, are going to convert pressure into voltage which you want to be able to read on with the analog input pins on the Arduino, but since there are only six input pins, you need an eight-channel analog multiplexer. We're going to use the 4051. Here is a pin diagram. There are eight analog input pins on the multiplexer that are read one at a time. To select the pin we want to read, we use the select pins that come from the digital out on the Arduino. Basically, we cycle through the multiplexer's eight pins very quickly, and we send the voltage we read to a single analog input pin on the Arduino. Here's an image of a circuit diagram with a piezo disk attached to a single pin on the multiplexer. If the voltage that's read at that particular pin is above a certain threshold, then a MIDI note will play. And here's my circuit after I soldered everything together. Soldered everything to a proto board that fits nicely into the Arduino so that I don't have to worry about any loose wires. It just fits snugly into the analog input pins and the digital output pins and the 5 volt power supply and ground. Very nice. Then I put everything into the box. Make sure not to let the bottom of the Arduino touch the metal. And here it is when it's done. I taped the piezos to the underside of the acrylic keys and I held the keys down with zip ties. You might need to put some sort of foam underneath the keys to prevent them from triggering other keys when you hit them. Attached my computer with the USB cord so I can make noise on GarageBand. Here are some examples of different instruments you can play.